when you think of the fallen giants of English football, you often think of Sheffield Wednesday, Leeds United, or maybe Nottingham Forest. However, few would be able to name one of the greatest amateur teams in English history. A team that destroyed FA Cup winning sides by huge margins and had a global impact in the spread of football. That team was Corinthian FC. Founded in 1882 by N.L. Jackson, who aimed to create an amateur side good enough to beat the Scottish national team, Corinthian were one of the best football teams in England during the late 19th century and early 20th century. Made up solely of amateurs from both English public schools and universities, Corinthian became renowned as the greatest amateur club in England, unwilling to join the professional league, eventually leading to them being banned from participating in matches with teams who played under the banner of the Football Association. While the club no longer goes by the same name, having merged with Casuals FC to become Corinthian Casuals, it still holds many of the association and symbolism of the original club. I went to one of their Isthmian League division games at their stadium, King George's Field, situated right at the side of a dual carriageway in Tolworth, to see what the club had become. Scattered across the walls of the Corinthian Casuals clubhouse are various photos profiling the early history of the club. Pictures of players from before the turn of the 20th century can be seen proudly emblazoning the walls. Corinthian FC were responsible for some of the most astonishing school lines in football history, having beaten Manchester United 11-3 in 1904, which still remains their worst defeat ever. A few things catch my eye, harking back to this famous victory. A signed in frame Manchester United jersey and a large flag proudly highlight this significant piece of the club's history. Despite choosing to never play in the FA Cup due to the prize money and professional connotations of the trophy, Corinthians still managed to emphatically outdo many of the clubs who had won the Cup. In 1903, they beat the FA Cup holders of the time, Bury, 10-3, showing that despite their lack of professional status, they were THE team to beat in England at the time. This was also shown by the number of players who managed to find their way into the England team, with the squad almost entirely made up of Corinthian players in 1895. When they were banned from the Football Association, having already joined the Amateur Football Association, the club decided it was time to bring their light-hearted and casual approach to the game abroad. The club went on world tours, playing against local teams in countries such as Germany, Spain and the Czech Republic. Most famously, they helped bring football to Brazil in 1910, inspiring a small group of local workers to create their own team. This team would become one of Brazil's largest club sides, SC Corinthians Paulista, who boast over 30 million fans across Brazil. The Brazilians even invited the Corinthian casuals to South America for two memorial games to celebrate their special link. Once in 1988 with players such as Socrates playing, and again in 2015, with many of the current Corinthian casual squad playing in front of the 30,000 strong crowd. While the club has suddenly declined in significance, they still attract a small, dedicated fan base and provide just as good a matchday experience as any other in the lower leagues. While my visit failed to produce many goals, it did manage to deliver drama, with a last minute goal from Sean Okoji sending the Corinthian Casuals fans into ecstasy as the club kept its playoff hopes alive. Who knows, perhaps one day the club will even rise so high that they may have to break their historical amateurism and turn professional. <laughs>